so the whole idea is to like if supposing I, I make a like a film called Dharna I mean you, the word itself you might call me stupid, you might call me dirty, you might be never heard of something like it. But the whole point is that you never heard of something like it. Which is what the interest point in the campaign is. And similarly there is one subject which uh, Mr. Suresh Nair of Bombay Times had uh, given me, which is terrific, you know, I just, uh, just reading it, I, the film called Chala Vinod Tiwari Film Banane. So basically they were a small town guy who just uh, passionately writes a script and he lands up in Bollywood. And his experiences with the Bollywood likes is what the film is about. It's a comedy. Give us a chance. It's a good. The I think I would be able to make it much more disciplined and much more structured, which I was doing kind of at random. There is just an ideas match, the views match, and uh, I guess uh, they have the same guts or stupidity depending on what you call it. You know, to make something very different and uh, very exciting. And, uh, so I think on that basis we join together. Film, no. See, right now we're planning to make four films. We are start, we already start under one is under production and one we're starting in March, and the other two probably will go onto the floors in April May. Don't you think you know it's a risk like launching? I mean, you know, announcing four films at a time. So how do you do it? Why? Why should we risk? You never know which film will work. Whether you do the four films in five years, and do them in the four months, it will be the same. But all of them are being directed by new newcomers. I can't speak him. That's what I just said. See, basically, it's a, it's a, they've used in my views match about film production, film making. And uh, I needed someone who I mean, uh, uh, bring in a certain corporate discipline into the way in the cinema functions. So I think they are the right people to. Do it together. You know, there are also feature films. No, they are, they have other ideas of making telefilms and everything. But this is this particular joint venture with me is about feature films. How do you get the idea? This idea? idea of this joint venture. Obviously, because I met them and I like them. Yeah. Okay. Joining up with Barma Corporation. How well, we were looking at the entertainment industry and we were looking for one of the best production houses in India and we found the right partnership with Ram Gopal Verma because of his creativity, his team of young, talented professionals. And it just um, happened in the sense that we felt his vision matched with our vision. And we were more on the same platform of being able to go forward together. And that's how all this came into place. You all are primarily, primarily um, producing four main movies, like Dharma Manahe and the rest that follow. How did you think of all these concepts? The concepts were more by 
Ram Gopal Verma, and uh, we liked the concepts, and we figured that uh, he was able to deliver like he's always done so in the past, and that's why we decided to proceed with the venture. Thank you so much. Thank you. What? Continue. These are not basic commercial movies. So how do you think the audiences are going to react to the fact that they are not regular? I fail to defer that. They are hardcore commercial films. If you know the star cast of Danna Mana Hai, it has Vivek Oberoi, Nana Patikar, Saif Ali Khan, I got to remember all of them anyway. <laughs> I think Shilpa Shetty, Isha Kopika, Sanjay Kapoor, Sohel Khan. So how can you say it's not a commercial film? It doesn't have any music, you know. It's, it, music plays a very important part in a movie. Uh, well, not at this moment of time. If you see the music industry has gone down very badly. And, uh, you know, just because uh, what we, we at Kesara Sara and Varma Corporation thought about is just because we're supposed to add some music, then the whole story was dying and it was going in some different tangent. Whereas there are certain concepts which do not require music, you know. Uh, that's where we thought, okay, it doesn't require music, so why should we have it? You know, why should we do it the same conventional way where, where the Hindu film industry is going? So, inside, music is not required. Not. If I could just add, it, uh, the Indian music is very much a traditional way that the Indian film is presented. Here, we're looking at an international audience. It's, it's marketing worldwide. And in most international films do not have music. And this is a case where we don't think it's necessary. We'll be able to take it to a wider audience. Dana it's a very catchy title. Who thought of it and what? It's all Mr. Ram Gopal Verma's uh, concepts and all his ideas. We just love the way he thinks, the way he goes about it. He's brilliant, that's all I can say. And you all must be knowing that. Can you give us a brief storyline? That's, uh, it's, it's, it's something very exciting. It's something which your know, Indian cinema has never seen. That's much I can tell you. But at the concept level, is Mr. Verma's preoccupation. In fact, all four stories, I mean, all four movies, if I may say so, is, are very different from each other also. Right. I mean, what kind of moods are there? Can you please say that with the title? Yeah, well, why not? Uh, Dana Mana is a thriller. Uh, then we have Aptak Chappan, which is a hardcore reality film. You know, it's about Encounter Squad, which we have in Mumbai. Then it's uh, Chala Vinod Thiwari, Film Banane. That's a feel-good movie. It's, uh, it's really going to be funny because the concept is very, very uh, well done. And it's Nimi's, Nimi's about the emotions uh, of a mother and a daughter and uh, how those emotions uh, do not care about any fear. And you know, the, tip overcome, the mother overcomes all these fears and tries to save his daughter. It's about that. Don't Nimi's give too much of a plot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a slight misconception about the fact that Mr. Verma is going to be directing all these four movies. So could you please clear that? Uh, Dana Man has not been directed by Mr. Verma, so rest, I don't know, we are still in the finalization of things, so I don't know what happened. Who, who is the one who's directing? Prabal Pandey is doing Dana Man. Yeah? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Really? Hmm. Sir, about the tire. Yeah. Please tell us how that happened. You see, basically they share the same uh, vision and the same uh, belief that I have about uh, making films. And uh, I feel a certain comfort and a certain compatibility in uh, doing cinema which is very unconventional and which you, you find it difficult to find a traditional Bollywood for someone to back up a belief and to provide the infrastructure in various ways for that. And which I found in them and uh, that's the reason for this type. How did it work, sir? Did you contact them or did they come to you? They've come to me, I mean, obviously, we know them before. And obviously, they saw my films or they saw whatever they heard about me seeing. And they wanted to initiate a conversation and over a period of time, you know, it materialized into this. Yeah. In this venture, Radha Mana is the first one which is almost 50% complete with a very big star cast. Yet, one of the best final villain out there. So? Well, I mean, I don't think that needs to be answered. There's nothing there. Yeah? Sir, so, apart from that, uh, it has been directed by Pravar Pandey. Correct. Who has not been heard of. So, um, on what point, how did you think? Well, I have not been heard of before Shiva either. So, that should answer the question. So, obviously, I know his talent. Yeah. 